Hello everyone and welcome to Fantasy Australia, otherwise known as Path of Exile, another of those action RPGs, Diablo-esque hack and slashers. Now here we are at the character creation screen and I am about to create my second little character. Who knows, I'm going to pick, I already uh, made an attempt for it. I as fought, a sort of wept, fire and bled for God. And I would have died for my everyone's a simple job I was told. The, uh, Silence a big mouth. Get so we're right to fear me. If only they had listened to their cowardice. They had they not taken my he had it coming. Spot. And if was I supposed to bear such insults like, uh, with an action simply because of his high birth? The old fear grid from that Lord sang a different tune with six kind of inches thing. of steel in his guts. So you can understand You can't how. own a life. Not a deer's, not a rabbit's, well, and not mine. Every soul has a birth given right to live however they will. I am a warrior. I was born to fight, raised to defend my tribe. He had it coming. Is I supposed to bear such insults with an action simply because of his high birth? That Lord sang a different tune with well, six inches of steel in his guts. Gems that you find now exclude. they call me a criminal for defending my honor. I'd do the same again to anyone who crossed me. Who knows? Could be good. I care naught for riches, little Happy. for friendship. The duel is all I need. Duel's all I, need. I may be in exile, I but I will know. carve a road okay, back to okay. Oriath oh, one foe, one really? victory at a time. Ill fortune may have banished me to Rayclaw, well, but I will live time. to hear them scream my name in the great arenas again. That'll do, huh? That may outdraw some time out there, as you might be able to imagine. So, here we are, the pirate ship, or no, 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 prison ship, rather, kinda just wrecked, and here we find ourselves up on the shore of Fantasy Australia. They dumped two dozen of us exiles off that ship. Guess that makes us the lucky ones. Oh, lucky they just than threw us off. This poor My bastard apologies. beside me, at any rate. <coughs> I actually don't know what's going on Splinter in the game. sticking out of me? Just kinda skipped you everything missed all the first important. go-around? So, for your sake, I'll... Uh, I saw smoke at those ruins at the beach. Go get some help. And on my chest... Oh dear. Well, I don't think you're gonna get any help today. Bye, Mr. Corpse. Cleave. Even the dead rise to challenge me here. Hold all to show items on the ground, or press Z. To, uh, always show items on the ground. Here's a rusted sword. Open up my inventory over here. I already have it equipped. And I'm going to socket this red gem which is the cleave attack into it. I believe it's sort of an AOE attack. Yeah. Three to six physical damage as opposed to my regular four to eight damage, but it's AOE. One thing you'll notice as we start playing through this and chopping down enemies, no gold drops. The economy in this game is completely barter based around, well, I, I guess the, so far what I've been able to gather is the basic unit of uh, trade here is the identifier scrolls, and you have to pick up pieces of them individually. There's a driftwood wand, I think it's a ranged weapon, I have absolutely no interest in that right now. Off on the bottom left over there, you can see my little potion menu. It's another interesting mechanic of this game. Your potions will fill up as you kill enemies, so that you don't have to go around picking up more herbs or anything like that. And you'll never, ever find a goddamn skeleton in a barrel. Why? Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Just zombies. Apparently, when you die on this, <laughs> when you die on this island, you, you definitely turn into a zombie. Superior crude dog, who knows, I'll save it for later. Just chop through all these guys. Not really sure where I'm supposed to go. I've already played through this once, but I don't really remember. So, I'll have to bear with me for a little while. You might have also seen the orb of alteration that dropped. It's another one of the currencies, I guess. It's actually kind of weird that I got that straight off the bat. It'll allow me to change up the attributes of a magical weapon whenever we end up getting any, and I'm about to die, so I should probably back off just a little bit and bet jump back into the frame. As of right now, this game's currently in beta, but it's free to play and download. It works off of micro transaction system. It's quite analogous to what they have going on in uh, League of Legends. You can buy different character animations, different artworks, and it's things nice like that. It's nice not to be dead. Here's a plate vest. 
just a piece of the ship I have to strap to my chest, and we just leveled up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sphere grid. We can either go down the strength path or the dex path to start off with, I believe. And 10% increased melee physical damage or 6% attack. 6% increased attack speed, which is what I'm going to go for. And as we zoom out, you'll see exactly how massive this thing can get. Uh -huh. I'm assuming each of these different nodes is where each of the different classes starts out. And it's it's huge. And from what I'm given to understand, at the end of the game, you should only have 100 of these nodes filled out. So there's definitely room to explore and different builds to uh, theory craft your way around. And since everybody can use all of the different abilities, while there will be distinction between classes, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be, like, hardlined into doing one or the other particular thing. It's, it's interesting to see, it's going to be interesting to see, rather, where exactly it's going to go as time goes on. Where, frankly, I'm kind of impressed with the game as of right now, but I've only been playing it for a day or two. And, as always, with this kind of game, it's going to be a lot better when you're playing with people you know. I should probably kill this man. Goodbye, Hillock. Yes, yes, boy. HP. Not a whole lot of variety going on right now, but it does get a lot more interesting as time draws on. Hopefully we'll be able to get to that within the uh, context of this video, but uh, this is just an introduction to the Path of Exile. And seeing as how it's free, you should definitely, definitely try it out. Alright, got ourselves the Scroll of Wisdom, which is the identification thingamajig. A nailed fist, which is probably what I'm going to go with here in a few minutes. It's on another one of those dex items, sort of like claws, except it's just a... Uh, it's a piece of wood with nails in it. Anyways, I want to identify this Driftwood Club and see how, how it is doing. What is this? 20% increased physical damage, 1 to 3 physical damage, 1 to 3 fire damage, 9% gold resistance, and 13 accuracy rating. It will be good to sell, but I don't particularly really want to use it because that would have to give up my cleave thing the jig, and I don't want to do that right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at this nailed fist. Mmm, 3 life gain for each enemy hit by attacks. I like it, I like it a lot. So I'll go ahead and equip it in my secondary slot, and there's no requirements, I just go ahead and do it. How's that for service? And I think we are here at our town, but first of all, um, here is where all of the quest icons are going to pop up, but let me draw your attention over here to the right hand side of the screen. See this gem? Click to level it up. Yes. As you gain experience down here, to put towards your passive skills, also that experience will apply to whatever gems you currently have equipped. And as you do so, your abilities will improve. So there's a little bit of uh, RPG elements going into that as well. And I'm not really sure if the value of those increase as you put experience into them, but I can only assume that it does. Now, here in town is the only place where you'll actually be able to see other players. And because my computer sucks, I'm getting a little bit of slowdown. But we have some NPCs to talk to here. Story time, ladies and gentlemen. A dashing duelist. That's me. Drenched and deserted on the dreary strand. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you. Is. He's hitting on me. Easy, lad. You could lacerate a blow with a thump like that. I would have told The name's so. Bester, captain of the good ship Mary Go. Mary Go. That's my Mary Go has gone. There's only one. My crew. There's only room enough but my wits for one bird in this damn video, oh, mister. <laughs> he used to be a captain. Okay. There's that guy. I'm Hello. not really sure. I think he's going to be a quest NPC. But Welcome this to our home away from home. Is for what much it's worth. More I'm Nessa. Town that worker. future giant um, you just I mean, laid to rest. Town that was Hillock. You're lucky. He's eaten stronger <laughs> at spells than you. Don't count on that luck, Larson. Can short supply here in the past. Died Still. Millions of times You've rid us of a curse. And we owe you our thanks. Yes, you do. So what are you going to give me? I have to find a medicine chest, apparently. Good to know. Anyways, here you'll see. I can purchase a whole lot of different 
appropriated things from her, but I don't actually have anything to pay her with. So, let's look. One, Orb of Transmutation for that. Two, Scrolls of Wisdom. Two Scrolls of Wisdom. And, as you can see, all of these things cost either Scrolls of Wisdom or the different orbs you can do things with. I can't remember what the Orb of Transmutation does right off the top of my head, but we'll eventually find one and I'll show you. And, if we go over to sell items, when we go over to sell these things, we get shards of these different orbs. Tw 12 for this rare, and if we ever get 20 of that, it'll just turn into an orb of alteration, I believe. So, let's go ahead and sell everything here that we don't particularly need. Uh, I think I'll actually save that one and get rid of this one, because I intend to find more of the green things as time goes on. Actually, no. Red. Red for red now. Change my mind. Bear with me. All of that nets me three of the scroll fragments. I need five to make a scroll of wisdom. So, let's go and see what best it wants. There's an do. island, a hop skipping a wade offshore of the terraces. That's where my merry goat ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor, but his medicine chest might still be there so, amongst the splinters of bones. It'd have everything there's a requirement for you at the quest. Dr. Shaky Hands Optic, lousy with a scapel and even worse with a sword. But he knew his apothecary. Explains the shaky hands, if you ask me. Great. Town doctor's a junkie. That's, that's terrific, really. Anyways. Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. We exiles have no history. No, you Dominus don't. took it from us the moment his black guards dumped us in the water out there. It's How's just live or die. Fantasy, Australia. Here, have one of these. Thank and you. No need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Sounds good to me. Let's see, what do I hint here? Don't want to burn your own. Double strikes, looking like the way to go. Maybe in melee weapon. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do double strike. And put it into my Spire Snailed Fist of Calm. Yes. Right. I think that's all we need. Don't particularly want to sit here and listen to all of his dialogue. So, let's take a look and see if we can change Dual Strike down here to Cleave on the middle mouse button, and then Cleave or to Dual Strike, and we are good to go and find whatever there is to find out on the terraces. Note, probably enemies. This island is not all that hospitable. Not the most pleasant of arenas. No, no, it's not. It'll What's have up, to birdies? Do. Yes. For now, I have nails sticking in my hand. Haha! <laughs> no striking away! No striking away! Don't have enough mana to... Oh jeez. Getting torn up. Running away time! Why is it just a random pawn sitting over there? For some reason I can no longer cast the cleave spell, which confuses me. On abilities that will sometimes be like uh, prerequisites you have to have before you can and let me go and check and see what is wrong with Leaf. What do I need? What do I need? Or both weapons are dealing with me. Okay, but uh, why can't I use you? Why, why can't I use you? You? No? Hmm. School skill can't be used with that weapon. That, that's terrific, really. So, that's completely useless to me right now. Oh, I can't use it with the, the fists. Well, I'm gonna use it with the fists, so... I just won't be using cleave, apparently. But I can still equip it and have it level and get rid of it later. I want this crit bow? Yes, I do. While it's low quality, there's actually some advantages to having weapons that are low quality, which we'll get to in a little bit. Actually, I can explain it now. One of the items we will pick up eventually or be able to buy from a shop here is called a blacksmith's whetstone and you can improve the quality of your regular items the thing is the greater the base quality or rather base rarity of a item is the less a whetstone or applicable item whether it be an armor item and the armor's version of the blacksmith's whetstone 
the less it will affect the item. So if you have a white quality item, it'll improve it by 5%. If it's a magic quality weapon, it'll improve it by 3, I believe. And if it's a rare, it'll improve it by 1% each and every single time. And I think it maxes out at around... 20? 20, I think, is the highest I've gotten something. Anyways, get these jerkins. Should be able to see. I haven't taken, like, too quick a look at our, uh, weapons and armor quite yet, but I will here in a second. As soon as I kill that bitch. And level up dual strike. Alright. Here, with our heavy armor, we actually have the armor stat, but if we take a look at our cloth armor down here, our shabby jerkin, we get an evasion rating. Now, I haven't really figured this out 100%. But I'm assuming that armor is for your heavy strength-based characters. Evasion is for your dex-based characters, and it's more like a dodge chance than anything else. And magic using characters get something called an energy shield, which is based off of their intelligence statistic. Which is basically just another health bar on top of their health bar. It's actually kind of awesome. It works sort of like the Halo shields, which is hard to describe, and I quite frankly I could probably be showing you a little bit of footage with my Templar here in it a little seems bit. this new arena Let's suits me. This out and I will show you some dead people. And a little bit more of the thing with JP. Yo, by the way, first of all, go ahead and look at the quality of this spear drifter wand. As you can see, increased quality, increased physical damage. So back to the sphere grid. I'll zoom here. Do I want to have more attack speed or do I want to have more dexterity? The base stat will be what determines. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, Drip panel. Got some sneak up on me. It does not pause when you are looking at the sphere grid. Anyways, the base stat is what determines whether or not you can use particular items. I just really want to make attack speed though. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, yes. No. It looks like I'm supposed to go this way because wielding all of the abilities and buffs are going to be this way, so I will go for attack speed. Hallelujah. As you can see, there's definitely some strategy and thought put into how the sphere grid is laid out. It makes it interesting. Or at least more interesting than just your basic talent tree, I suppose. It's different. I don't know if it's better, it's just different. Which is definitely needed in this day and time. We are alive to sit in this fire. Superior Shabby Jerk and I will definitely be taking that. Come along, come along. Yes, I'll take that. Poor bastards. These aren't even the natives of the island. These are just crazy people who have no push a bunch of killing each other and eating crabs. Goodbye, Doom Scavenger. Goodbye, Doom Scavenger, and goodbye, Doom Scavenger. Mm, punch. I need another thing with nails just sticking out of my hands so I can go around punching people all day long. You know, it's just one of those things you have to do with your life. Glass shank, thank you, game. It's not exactly a punching thing. My spirit is spent. Towards what I was aiming for. Less shakes. Sounds sanitary. Sanitized, to say the least. Not too particularly hectic, but that's okay. As soon as I get a uh, portal scroll, which is another one of those things that will probably I believe eventually in traveling light. contribute to the overall economy of the game. Last shank, 40% increase. Oh, where was I? I think I will definitely equip that. I'm not sure where my cleave gem went. Oh yeah, I put it in my plate vest. Shall we? I guess we won't. So I'm going this way. I'm supposed to be finding a medicine chest, I believe. These maps are rather large, so I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. Mummies! Are you my mummy? I'm just not. No, oh, well. Can't win them all. You get in the corner. Ooh. You did not have a happy end. But who does these days? 
Definitely the guy's getting eaten by these people. I believe in traveling light. Do you now? Obviously that means my inventory is a little bit full, so let's do a little bit of this management. What to do? What to do? Don't have enough room for the this. Do I have enough room for this? No, I do not. But I do. So sorry but you all are gonna have to wait for me to walk back to town. I'll probably edit it out through the power of editing. So, see you guys here in a minute. Alright, here we are back in town. Uh, I'm gonna sell my stuff and log out. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just gonna be episode one, you're like a basic, hey, this, there's what this game is. As I continue to play this game, I'll probably have some more footage of me playing with a couple of my friends here in the future. Who knows? With these games, sometimes the real pleasure you get out of it is, you know, the time you spend with your friends. So I'm not really sure if there's even really a point in me making too much of a let's play, but I kind of just wanted to uh, start my deck here. I thought these days, you know what, if I'm going to play the game, I might as well have fun with it at the same time. So, let's go ahead and log out here. That is definitely the wrong button. Exit login screen. Yep, there's my stuff. No, you can't have my password. Here's Naruto, my level 25 Templar. Let's play him. And I am definitely in the wrong part of town. And no, I still don't have any goddamn pants. Like, people like level 30 still wondering where the pants are. It's like, no, just, you, don't, you don't deserve pants yet. Uh, apparently, it's linked up to your chest item. Who knows? One of the things about this game, by the way, is if you leave an area for about 15 minutes, everything in it will respawn, so if there's like a particular area you really like to play, then that's perfectly fine. Now, this is not my melee focus character, as you might be able to tell by what's about to happen. Burn! Everyone burn! It's a good time to burn. Good time to burn. Definitely about to die. But you know what? It might just be worth it. This is what happens. I love that. I love it so much. Just run into the middle of a group of enemies and set them all on fire. Like so. Die. 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 Now all of these abilities that I'm using right here come off of gems. So if I really wanted to. And if I had the stats to do it, I could just do this exact build with the uh, other character. Would it be ideal and the most effective thing in the world? No, probably not, but I could do it. Yep. Each one of those little bolts fall out of the sky and do like... How much do they do? 21 to 31? <laughs> and each one falls out of the sky like every 0.15 seconds, so does a fair bit of damage. The survivability of this guy is not all that great though with some of this boulder. Nothing. I'm not really sure exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Or what's going on in the game because I wasn't paying attention while I was just blowing through this with a friend of mine. who was just playing a tank while I do all of the damage ever. We will see a little bit of that gameplay as we move forward with this let's play. At least I hope so. Burning down. This is imperialism at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. I do not have to worry about meta problems at all. I'll just burn everything. As you can see from these 
flasks down here. Different flasks do tons of different things, which I really, really like. Adds just another element to the meta of this game. Like, I'm sure you can build entire builds just around having the right kind of flasks. Chainmail tunic, not interested! Let's take a look at my gear. As you can see, most of it is based around having uh, more energy shield than anything else. I still haven't found any green gems in this guy. Not that I need them, this guy's based around blue and red gems. This guy is mostly blue, as you might be able to tell from the tons of fire! Golden spirit shield, actually, it might be worth picking up. Might be better than mine. you've improved the quality of your item to like 20%, that's probably the ideal time to go ahead and upgrade it to either a rare item or a magic item, respectively. Topaz ring. Always good for a scroll shard. Probably actually my primary source of scroll shards at this point. Not too hectic right now because I'm kind of in a level, uh, uh, part of the game where I'm over leveled for what I'm trying to do here. I went the wrong way and we had a hell of a time getting through what we weren't actually supposed to be playing. But anyways, this is PoE in a nutshell. Hopefully I'll have some better footage to show you guys here in the future. Hit this portal scroll, head back to town. Almost exactly like Diablo. And yes, you can manipulate the portals to make things much, much easier for you. So I'm just gonna sit here, say adieu, and hopefully I'll have some more for you guys here in the future. Till then, it's been Alpha Times. Let's look at Path of Exile. Fantasy Australia.